County. And I'm just kind of looking around at the lay of the land here in late March. Uh, we've had some rain lately and we've been kind of chomping at the bit to get some of these new plants out uh, for the spring. Got some uh, green and red spring cabbage here in some flats. Uh, got a lot of space to put it in, but uh, I've got a little bit of tilling done and just working on some of our spring chores here. Looking forward to uh, getting some pretty tasty things growing in this garden. That's a red acre cabbage right there. It's, a, uh, it's more of a spring growing cabbage. Uh, the difference between uh, spring and fall cabbages, the spring cabbages tend to be smaller. They've got a shorter um, amount of time it takes to get a viable cabbage. But, uh, I, I, you know, fall are the typical, the great big ones everybody kind of shoots for, make their sauerkraut and all that stuff. But these are good, and everybody, this time of year, everybody's just ready to get something good and fresh to eat. But these were actually raised for us um, from the uh, James Wood High School horticulture uh, students. So we're pretty proud of that, too. They've been really good to us. That's a pretty little thing. These are, It's a green acre and a red acre. Looks like we've got plenty to put out here. We've got all kinds of stuff sitting over there. Just as soon as I can get these beds ready, we've got kale. We've got uh, rainbow Swiss chard. We've got, um, shoot, let's see here. We've got multiple types of kale. We have cauliflower, early spring cauliflower. It gets smaller heads. Uh, they actually come on pretty quick. Uh, almost tastes like candy. Um, I like eating them when they're, t they're smaller than we should, so you don't get as much as you ought to, but it's hard staying out of them this time of year. So yeah, we've got all kind of stuff that we're ready to roll with. And of course, the last frost date is coming up real soon. So we're looking forward to tomatoes and cucumbers, and hot and sweet peppers and all that cool stuff. Also plan on putting out some uh, potatoes. We need to be putting out some potatoes here pretty soon. A lot of folks go with uh, St. Patrick's Day for their early plant date. But uh, I tell you the truth, I kind of like waiting on into April for it just because uh, it, it's something interesting in the garden a little bit later into the summer. And uh, it just works out pretty good for me that way. But that, that's the thing about vegetable garden, you know, it, uh, it all comes down to your preference, what, what you like to plant, what you like to eat, what kind of conditions you have. And we're blessed here to have some beautiful soil here in the gardens at the museum. It's been, uh, it's really been going over and kept well for a long time. And uh, we're just, just excited to get to get things going and excited to have some folks come out and talk to us and check things out and maybe even sneak a bite when I'm not looking. So, But we appreciate your time and uh, hope you all come out and see us real soon.